Most farmers know how unpleasant it is to have to lug heavy bags of seed or inoculant up the ladder and dump them into their air seeder. Not only is it hard work, but one slip of the foot could lead to a major injury. Leighton Shepherd of Langenberg, Saskatchewan had seen firsthand how this bottleneck was affecting his brother Roland's farm. Since Leighton runs a metal fabrication and repair business called Roadside Iron Works, he decided to take up his brother's challenge. Finally he said to me, he says, just build me something and he was out of it and, and so I started thinking about ways to get it there and I happened to be actually just driving down the road and I seen a front end loader on a tractor with the self-leveling bucket and I thought to myself, why can't we use that concept and make an actual lift? Shepard stayed with his original idea and built what he calls the easy loader, which works very similar to a front end loader. As you can see, his brother Roland is getting plenty of use out of this hydraulic system. The main frame of the loader bolts directly to the air seeder frame. And we've got a self-leveling system here with the bucket on the top where the canola seed goes. Uh, our hoses run and here's your actual spool for control. And we added in here a needle valve because uh, with the high output of the tractors of today, we needed to slow this oil down or this thing would basically get out of control. So we've We've cut the oil down, um, we've used a, a closed center pour, a porting on it so that way it all returns back to the tractor and it doesn't overload the tractor with the high volume of pump. The control system is set up for ease of operation and for safety at the same time. Pull her down and it's controlled, this is as quick as it would go so that way we won't have any troubles with uh, it going too fast and breaking anything or, to, or somebody getting hurt. So that's down, that's in the down position. And as you can see, the cylinder bottoms out, so that way it can't get too low should something ever happen in the field, which I hope it wouldn't. But if it ever came down on its own, there's no way it would get into the ground, dig, and bend anything on your cart or on the, uh, the easy loader itself. Leighton builds the frames for his lifters in his own shop. Being a former farmer himself, he knows the value of built-in durability. Some people have looked at it and said I've made it too heavy, but I always like to, uh, I like to overbuild everything so that way when I sell it to my customer, it won't break. We've used half inch plate here for our supports. Our main actual uh, cross piece is also a half inch by 12 plate. Uh, we've went with 3 8 plates for the actual mounting onto the frame. And uh, we've used four by four tubing, uh, 3 16 wall on everything in. Uh, our support is a 2x2 two two tubing with a uh, 3 8 by inch and a half uh, back, back support. This loader is Leighton's prototype and it's mounted on his brother's 1910 John Deere air seeder cart. He designed the unit so that installation is relatively simple. When you install it, you, you make sure that this is not part of the unit when you're first putting it on. It's a lot easier to work with. All there is, is there is the uh, C-channel bolts that we send with it. All hardware goes with it. Uh, you simply put them on first. You're gonna need a loader with a chain or something because it's got a fair amount of weight. And you just get her in close and you can guide it in by hand. If you've got two guys, it's great. Uh, you can push her up, start to get your nuts on for safety, and then it just clamps on. It's a very, very, very easy uh, on. And then you put your, your arms on after because each one you put on separately, it just makes it a lot easier to put this unit on. Layton suggests a load limit of 550 pounds on the loader, which would be 11 50-pound bags. Even though the unit itself could probably lift more, he doesn't want to put too much stress on the air seeder frame. This loader has a manual locking system, but he plans to design an automatic version for future units. If you're in a hurry, which you always are seeding, you may tend to forget that and we can't have that thing settling so it'll automatically snap. However, to load, you will have to go and ma manually unlock it, which uh, you'll know whether you've done it or not. Along with each loader, Leighton includes all the necessary hydraulic components. As I said, all fittings are there, and we tie into the hydraulic. There's a splitter on the hydraulics that runs the fan and the, and the, uh, the auger. So we've went into there, you tee off of that, and again, you split and you'll use the bag lift. And if you want, you can fill the bag lift, take it up, split back, and then start putting your fertilizer in while you're dumping your seed to try and save some time. As was mentioned earlier, one of the original reasons for developing the easy loader was to save work and improve safety for farmers. 
But some farmers are telling Leighton it will pay for itself within two years when you add on the reduction in cracked canola seed. At 10 to $12 a bushel of canolas, I know lots of guys putting it up in an auger and uh, we're going to run a test, but I know that they're cracking that seed. And some guys claim the crackage is fairly high. When you're paying 10 to $12, I think you want, in your tank, you want seed that's viable, not crack seed. At the time of our visit, Shepard was selling the Easy Loader for just under $5,500. So far, he's only built units for John Deere air seeders, but eventually he plans to adapt the system to pretty much every air seeder on the market.